and uh, today I got a load of parts in the uh, post to build a uh, DIY quadcopter. Anyway, I'll get all this unpacked and then I'll um, then I'll go through it. Right, so the parts that I got, uh, these are from uh, WAL Ties, uh, I think it's a V686 or something like that. I'll put a full description in the uh, description below anyway of which parts they are and uh, links to them, uh, just in case you're interested in trying it yourself. But uh, yeah, these are from WL Tires. These parts here. And then these parts are from the um, X9 Tarantula. And these bits fit in there nicely. Um, this is from a uh, SEMA X8C. That's the uh, control board I'm going to be using. Hopefully it will bind to my... Um, other SEMA X8C um, transmitter. Uh, if you want to do this without one of these, you'll have to buy one of them as well. Um, also, some X6 uh, tarantula blades. Uh, the gears you'll need to buy to put into the tarantula. Um, motor housing frame or whatever you want to call it and then four tarantula motors and that's the parts I've got in the post anyway other parts you'll probably need is some uh, wires to connect the um, motors up and uh, whatever else this is just an old uh, USB cable which I've just stripped down instead of buying some so I'm just going to be using that Obviously you're going to need a solder and iron, some solder, and some heat shrink. Right, so I'll get set up and then I'll come back. What I've done so far is, is I've, here's the um, main flight control board. And all I've done is, at the moment, is just uh, hot glued it on, just on the uh, four bits that are poking up. You can just uh, see these four bits that are poking up, and I've just aligned it. So, on this frame, there's an arrow pointing in the direction it should face, and your antenna should be at that center point because that's the way we want to fly. This is the back end because that's where the power is going in. So, we want to fly in that direction, and then the motors. I've got a uh, red and black wired motor here and a black and white um, wired motor there and then to the back I've got a black and white this side and a red and black this side so, so hopefully the motor should be around the right way hopefully and what I've done to secure the uh, fiberglass or carbon spars, whatever they are, is just where the um, holes are, I've just put some hot glue in there just to secure it so they won't slide out. And then also, where the uh, motor mounts are and the gears, I've just done the same in a little square on the side here, I've just put some hot glue in. And then to hold the motors in, because I haven't got any screws, that size, I've just put a blob of hot glue either side of the motor and hopefully that should hold it in, it may not because uh, when the motors get hot they may slide out, I don't know yet but I'll give it a go anyway and then for the landing gear I've just used um, fat zip, big old uh, fat zip ties and just uh, curled them around like that and then just used three other small zip ties just to hold it on you can see, left a little bit of the um, zip tie out so it won't hopefully slip that way. And it's just buttered up to where the uh, motor mount is. So hopefully that should hold it. And uh, yeah, it's about soldering this up next because it's just up here, these two connections here, which is to the front. You just need to solder the switch on. Doesn't matter which way around it goes, there's no polarity, it's just... It's just a switch on its own. You could always uh, just bridge these 
two connections here and that means then it would just turn on as soon as you plug the battery in. What I've done so far is um, I just extended these wires. I don't know why I extended them because I may as well have just soldered new wires straight on up the top here and routed them round. But uh, well, I've extended them and put some heat shrink over them anyway. So I don't know if you can see, but I've soldered three sets of the motor leads on and I've put a dab of hot glue over the top of them just to give a little bit of um, strain relief so hopefully they won't wiggle off board um, so what you got is um, in each each corner there's uh, two little pads for the um, motors so you just need to um, tin those first like I have here there's one in either side they're um, labelled M1, M2, M3, M4 all the way around so you can't miss it and instead of using that little switch that I said about I've just put a little jumper wire across there so connecting it straight together the switch so that means when you plug the battery in it will turn on straight away rather than having a switch on it that's it and you want to have a little blob of solder on the end of your soldering iron when you do it and then heat your wire up before you actually put it on the board Just like that. Don't keep on there too long because if not you'll burn the tracks up. Because they're not very good quality boards really. And yep, there you go. So I just put a bit of hot glue over the top. should do the job and so now all you got to do is just put the um, props on and then connect the battery up the motors are on and what I've done is I've taken the old the uh, supplied lead which comes with it off and I've just attached uh, one of these uh, JST connectors so that means then I can use the batteries from the uh, tarantula. You could use any battery, it doesn't really matter. Uh, hopefully it should be able to carry a larger battery, hopefully. Uh, I'll just plug it in and see if it goes bang. Hopefully it won't. Alright, there we go, we've got the uh, light coming on. Uh, waiting for it to be bound. I'll turn the transmitter on. Yep, that's working. Yep. So it all looks good. Just got to put the props on and then I'll give it a go. The only um, last thing to do is on the actual um, gears on the motors here where they mesh is to put a pit, just a little bit of if you can just get a little bit of um, white lithium grease and put on them or if not any grease we probably do I suppose but, uh, lithium grease is supposed to be better for plastic so I'm just going to get a just got, some, got it on some tweezers and just uh, put a little bit on the cogs and it will soon um, mix in uh, first test flight the uh, SEMA controller here. I've got it bound, so we'll see how it goes anyway. Okay, so it's not going very well. Try to fight to get it back. 
Seems like it's only got one power, full throttle. Uh, it's on the ground anyway. Oh well, that didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go anyway. Well, there we go. Broken anyway. so that didn't go too too well anyway I thought it was going to go better than that but I think it's probably to do with the weight uh, because the X8C weighs something like 450 grams whereas this only weighs 150 grams so because uh, the control board is probably compensating for the weight because it's been preset the um, settings on this for the weight of the Seymour X8C and so the uh, minimum throttle on the X8C is like the maximum throttle on here so yeah I think that's I think that's probably why so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, flight control board out of the um, X6 tarantula and I mean this is the same size and this only weighs 200 grams so there shouldn't be too much different difference in it um, this one's not working at the moment because I need to get a new main gear because I've shredded it um, so I'm going to take the flight controller out of here and try it on there. Okay, so here's a look inside the uh, X6 Tarantula anyway. That's the top half uh, with the four motors in. Just unplug the plugs from the motors. And then there's a small plug for the uh, LED light in the top there. And then there's the uh, control board. I'm just going to unsolder this and solder it into the uh, onto the other DIY quad. Right, so I've got all the uh, X6 Tarantula board in there now. So I'm just going to go and give it a test flight and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the um, X6 controller here and uh, just got to bind it. So this will fly. Oh yeah, much better. So there we go, that's the uh, DIY quad anyway. Right then, so the X6 board works absolutely fantastic, couldn't believe it. It's a lot more agile and I was able to get a lot more um, tilt on it when going around corners than with the um, original um, X6 chassis on it. So yeah, this uh, looks like it's been a, uh, quite a success actually. Uh, wasn't quite what I expected because I did want to get the um, X, um, X8C board in there because I like the controller better on the X8C but oh well, doesn't matter, at least it um, works um, and I'm pretty impressed with the performance of it I'm just going to have to fit a few lights on here if I do, I probably am going to keep it like this fit a couple of lights on so I can see when the battery's running out because if not I've got no idea when the battery's going to go dead <clears throat> so probably rig some, some a couple of lights up out of this, and yeah, should be good. 
Yeah, so anyway, I'll put um, links in the description to these parts, uh, just in case you're interested. And I'll she'll always also um, find where you can get the um, X6 um, tarantula board from. Because uh, this one came out of my quad, obviously. So I'll see if I can find um, where you can get the X X6 um, flight control board from. If I can, I'll put it in the description anyway, but uh, yeah, any other information, check the description, that's where it'll be. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.